before I start today's video, I want to remind you all that I'm not being sponsored by anybody. No tool or paint manufacturers give me their shit for free. So what I'm saying here, I ain't saying because somebody paid me to do so. I'm saying it because I want you to know that what I'm using is worth it or not. Let's have a look. Right, so what I've got here is uh, it's a new compressor and why do I have a new compressor? Well, my old compressor was old. <laughs> it was old, it's a direct drive, it was running on its last legs for a long time and finally fucked up completely. I needed an upgrade for a long time. What I've got over here? Well, let me show you and let me tell you why I chose this and then we're gonna see whether it's any good or not. What I've got is a Hyundai. H127550, whatever that fucking means, I don't know. What you need to know is a 50 litre twin engine and what they call it, low noise compressor, because it's not silent, it's a low noise compressor. Well, why this compressor and not anything else? Um, few reasons really. I've done my research like we all do before we spend, that was 290 pounds I think delivered. Um, why do I spend as much money on a compressor like that? Well, uh, a few reasons. A, it's the low noise compressor, so it's going to be quiet and then direct drive, which is a um, kind of important factor. Two, it comes with two year warranty, which is uh, an important thing, because if you spend something like 300 quid, uh, you better make sure it's working all right. Uh, reason number three, which is my main reason behind buying a, a compact compressor like this uh, it's got wheels, it's got handle and it weighs I think 47 kilograms don't quote me on that, I need to double check it and um, if I buy a monster compressor which I could do, kind of, I could buy the big sister of this bad boy um, Hyundai 300 litre uh, but guys, I ain't got no room for it you know, I got bikes over there, I got projects on the go this is just finished I literally got no room for a compressor of 350 litre capacity. Even 200 litre is probably too big for me. Too big, too heavy to move with one person. I'm a one band band. This, I'm hoping, is portable enough and compact enough so I can put it underneath the workbench. I can move it out of the way if I'm not using it. Um, and it's pushing 11 CFM, which is probably more than enough for my needs. Uh, it's not the industrial garage. This bad boy should be just what I needed. Before we open it, I'm very impressed with the packaging. It comes on its own a little pallet. It's got some kind of plywood on top and it's very, very sturdy. It's got corners everywhere. Um, it's been very well packed. I'm pretty confident, even though there's a little ding over here, you can see there's no movement anywhere. I'm pretty confident that whatever this unit was coming from, and mind you, it took um, over two weeks to, to arrive, um, it should be, it should be in good nick inside. Shall we open and have a look? So even here guys, you can see it's really nicely packed. Solid, don't even know who it's called, double, triple, quadruple wall box. All the parts are kind of well protected, so uh, Cool, that looks good. Oh, I love new tools. That smell, <laughs> smell of new tools. Excellent. No oil required, which is a pretty good thing. Super silent. Well, we'll see <laughs> how super silent it is. But I know it looks really good quality. And as you can see, I could pick it up from a box myself and I didn't even break my back. Uh, 50 litre oil capacity, uh, tank capacity that should be more than enough for my needs and I'm really hoping these two twin engines will pump actually 11 CFM air which is good comes with a UK power plug 
Uh, and that's always a good thing. And twin outlets. One over here, one over here, quick release as well. I believe these are Euro couplers. So that's good. Water trap. Definitely funky looking unit. In a box we've got big rubbery wheels and we've got some casters as well. The compressor's looking good and it comes with a bunch of goodies. Um, what are you going to do with it? Well, you need to RTFM. If you can't RTFM, then I can't fucking help you. It's very simple. Air filters go on the inlets, wheels go on the back and feet go on the front. RTFM and you can't go wrong. Here we go. Not even 10 minutes later, we got both filters installed, wheels and vibration legs on. And that's pretty much it. Compressor is ready to, well, to be used. Now, I won't be reviewing this compressor because obviously I just fucking got it. So there's no review. Maybe in a few months time uh, I give you some kind of update on it. But right now, what we need to know is how loud that thing actually is. It says here super silent well oil free which is a good thing super silent compressor we'll see how super silent it actually is it is connected to the mains and while we add it as you can see it's the very first use what i'm going to do i'm going to time it how long does it take for it to fill up completely so uh let's have a look There we go guys, just under two and a half minutes and we're reaching just, uh, was it 100 psi? Yeah, which is about seven bars of pressure. Not bad I'd say, not bad at all and it's not super silent. It's, um, it's a low noise compressor but oh my god, what an improvement on my old direct drive, the old direct drive compressor it's just everything's rattling and you need fucking ear defenders especially if you're continuously working with it uh this this is beautiful this you know it's uh it's a huge huge improvement it's not super silent it's a very low noise compressor but i'm very very happy with that and again just under two and a half minutes to fill up the uh, 50 liter capacity tank um i can work with that i can definitely work with that so far, so good. Right, we are pretty much just just below 95 psi over here. Um, I'm gonna leave it like it last of this. I'm gonna disconnect it from power. I'm not gonna do anything else with it tonight. I'm gonna come back tomorrow uh, in 24 hours time and I will see whether um, that dropped significantly. It should keep the pressure as a brand new unit. It should keep it more or less there. Obviously it will drop a little bit, but I'm not expecting to, do, to be dropping much. It should be holding pressure for quite some time. Not like it's the whole purpose of it, but just want to test the system. Okay, let's recap quickly what we've done over here. We've got uh, we've got good packaging from Hyundai, which is uh, which is always a bonus. I'm gonna keep that box um, up there in the loft, uh, just in case something goes wrong. You know, touch wood. Just in case I need to ship it back. Just in case they need to collect it. Uh, that is a good box for it. It's designed for that. So I'm gonna keep that. I've got two year warranty. If I can, I keep the box for two years and then I just chuck it away. We'll see what happens. It's a good compact size. It's portable. It's 50 liters. You got twin engine and you can fill it up to uh, uh, 100 uh, psi nearly in just under two and a half minutes. And it's pushing 11 CFM a minute, which is uh, which is really good. I think it's the best on the market currently for the small small compressors. Um, We'll see how it's going to perform in real life. It's small, it's portable, already in my overcrowded garage. I can put it underneath my working bench over there and it'll be out of the way. Perfect for my need. Again guys, just to give you some specifications, 
I've got this model over here, so you're running at uh, one and a half two horsepower. Um, displacements, you be pushing 300 liters a minute, which is really good. CFM, this is what I'm interested at. Um, 11 CFM, which is beats all the other guys, uh, all the other 50 liter capacity tanks by at least, well, maybe not double, but they go in seven or eight. This pushes 11 CFM. Uh, I can only trust what manufacturer says over there. Uh, bar PSI is go up to 100, which we just proved it does. 50 liter tank capacity, that's brilliant. RPM, that doesn't matter for me. These are dimensions of it. 650, 300 by 630, and it weighs 37 kilograms. As you saw it, I lifted all by myself from that box um, with no effort. No noise compressor, I can definitely work with it late at night. Won't be disturbing anybody, especially won't be disturbing myself. Um, and it's oil free, which means there's no maintenance with it. Uh, not only that, there won't be no um, pollution in the airlines. I know you can install water traps and oil traps and all that stuff there's always a risk of some oil getting into the airline and this eliminates that oil free we means maintenance free uh, plug and play hopefully it will serve me for more than two years all the components seems pretty well designed and they seem pretty solid i mean you wouldn't expect anything less from hyundai but I've seen uh, I've seen some issues with uh, the cheaper cheaper versions of of that same compressor. Uh, this bad boy seems completely different design. Seems like it's solid, and I'm hoping it's it's what it is. I'm hoping it's not gonna have cause me any problems. In the near future, I'll do a quick comparison over my old direct drive compressor. Uh, how noisy that fucking thing is against that. They call it super silent. I just call it low noise compressor and against what is actually silent compressor it's my uh my bambi which is down there that is a silent compressor and you see the difference um between the direct drive um the low noise compression and the silent compressor uh it is quite astonishing but that that hyundai it's it's working really quietly and i am very very satisfied with uh, the amount of noise it makes i can definitely definitely work with it all day long Again, I am not sponsored by these guys. I am not sponsored by any other guys. No manufacturer, no shop. Send me that for free. Nobody gave me anything. I paid 290 pounds, I believe. And I waited two weeks for this to be delivered. And I spent my own money for it. Nobody fucking gave it to me. Uh, if it's not gonna perform, I'm gonna tell you, it's not performing. Uh, the way it was delivered to me and what I see, I'm quite satisfied with. If that helps you make your choice, if you're thinking of buying one, I'm hoping that help you out. And at this stage, I am unable to tell you if it's performing well in real life situations because I haven't used it. Uh, it just been delivered. But as soon as I put it for some test, I'll come back to you and I'll tell you whether it's worth the 290 pounds I paid for it or not. That's it for today, guys. I've got some spraying to do. I'll be using this bad boy tonight and I'll report back as soon as I can. And I'll tell you my findings. Until then guys, thank you very much for watching, rock hard, have a beer and I'll see you very soon.